Hi there and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. I'm Baron and we are still in the Tower of the Mages. This is Irving's office. I have expected to find him here, but I suppose that's too much to hope for. Hmm. Pretty much looks like it. What do we get here? Irving's chest. The black grimoire. Very nice. First Enchanter's journal. All right. Irving's mistake. I followed another apprentice through supposed secret maneuvers today and exposed their tendency towards blood magic. The environment of the tower is such that certain modes of thought are encouraged both for good and ill. The students think we toy with them. The truth is far more intricate and di di direct. How did we have that already? Deviant traits must be exposed earlier and or the whole of the circle suffers. The ultrate has been very helpful in identifying the makers to look for. The markers to look for. His skills at misdirection are admirable. I dare say that the apprentices would be shocked at his ability to manipulate them. I must organize a retreat such that the other enchanters can benefit from his skills. Yeah, I think we already had that. Off I go. A small painted box. What's that? Is that a quest related item? Apparently. What else? An apprentice cowl, we already have that, thank you. And a locked chest. I shall. An acolyte stuff. What Very now? nice. Damn, you're bloody, my friend. So, this leads to the third floor. Never been there. As you wish. When I was first in the tower. What now? Do you get the feeling things are just getting worse as we go up? Maybe. We have to get to the bottom of things though. Or to the top of things. In that way. Um Hi. This seems to be blocked. Okay, I guess is there another statue there? Yep. Hi, could you help me? You don't fit through the doorway, I understand. Can't really do much. Whoa. What the fuck is going on here? Uh huh. Another scroll of Bannister. Others may speak of the sanctity of the mind to those who know true power of the blood, this is foolishness. The mind is no more sacred than the knee, the small toe or the ear. It's man's organ of reasoning, nothing more. A true reasoning requires connections to the rhythm of the blood, the tireless pounding of life. Interrupt this and even the mind is yours to control. Okay, so there are statues here. And uh, lots of charred corpses. Whoa! Whoa! There's an enraged corpse. Where did you come from? This is totally not nice. Let's make this quick, shall we? Let's make this quick! Are we done now? 
No. There's an arcane horror. This is not good. Take this one out first, apparently. You need to heal yourself. Oh no, you cast this. You cast the group heal. You use a shield pummel and you use crippling shot. Victory shall be mine! Okay. Frozen. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, I think we got this. As you wish. Alistair, get your move on, man. Nice, you heal yourself again. You heal her. You actually use a crippling shot on him. You use a shield bash on him. Lightning. Group heal. Never had a chance. Okay, I think we got the situation under control now. Wow. That was not nice at all. If I may say so. Off I go. Corpse skull. Yes? Is there something you wish to discuss? I didn't want to. If not, we should hurry. Time is of the essence. Oh. Apparently we do talk. Okay, what do you know? about the litany of Andrala. Andrala was a bard in the service of Divine Clemens I. During the second exalted march, the schism had split the Chantry into the one we know and the Imperial Chantry in Devinter. There was much mistrust of the Devinter Imperium at this time, as you can imagine. All right, go on. Even though the Imperial Chantry forbade blood magic, the Chantry, our Chantry, did not believe them. After all, many of the Tevinter mages, and even their Magister Lords, had used blood magic with impunity throughout history. 
together with the help of the Chantry and its Templars. Adrala wrote the litany to protect against the mind-controlling abilities of blood mages. Do you know how to use the litany? It is just a spell, like any other spell. Any mage should be able to recite it. Reciting the litany breaks any existing mind control and prevents future attempts at domination from being successful. How come not every mage has this in their standard repertoire? Can you tell me more about Aldred? I suppose you would not have had much contact with him. He never mentored the apprentices, never taught. He didn't seem to care much for the circle. Only his own advancement. Ah, oh, we already had that. I'm sure Aldred has some redeeming qualities. He probably has a perfectly good reason for not displaying them. You have seen the demons, haven't you? We will doubtless see more of those. But I fear the abominations more. They are no longer human and are driven only by their lust for destruction. If we work together we can survive. I hope you're right. Let's not waste any more time. Onward then. So, I actually wanted to pick up stuff. of the winds as you wish what does that give plus three defense oh I already have one of those then it's something for Liliana there's an apprentice note Doesn't read like we'll be finding our fair apprentice in one piece. <clears throat> Hastily scribbled. Whisper says Great Hall, hidden above us the whole time. The vessel in hand, words from another time drip literal power, put on bowl. A sword raised to sever connection, cord cut. A sword lower to strike through and ground, bile. The threads placed before a warrior's bare raised, shield from each side, so whispers unknown falls. Where is it? It, whis it whispered order, but not where. It's in my head. You are insane. Okay, so it, this refers to those uh, statues. You yeah, apparently have to activate them in the right order. So you use that one, and now we use this one. And this one. There's supposed to be a fourth one somewhere. Maybe we will find it later. What do you have? And the locked chest. Thank you. Oops. 
What's that? Right ahead. Hold it. Trap disarmed, very nice. No, I can't see shit. Okay, now I can see something. There's an an abomination. Actually a whole truckload of them. Great. And there the game crashed on me. Amazing! Let's try ready. this again. Trust right ahead. Okay, we got this one. And now we hope the game doesn't crash. Here we go! Let's make this quick! I don't know what went wrong the last time, but mm, what? Looks like we made it. On it. What now? Promises of pride. Is that new? Uldred will show us the way. Final recognition. We already had that. I have spoken to him directly. His intentions are that we will demand the Templars withdraw. I don't know that I'm... I don't know that I'm willing to follow, but I will be present to hear his argument in Chant of Fons, Equitarian. Madness. I doubt blood will be used. I doubt blood will be of use to you if it's flowing down the tower steps. Step away from this folly before it consumes us all. Enchanter Leuven, loyalist. And what do we have here? Arcane Horror. Upon ascending to the second floor of the tower, we were greeted by a gruesome sight. A ragged collection of bones wearing the robes of one of the senior enchanters. I had known her for years, watched her raise countless apprentices, and now she was a mere puppet for some demon. Transcribed from a tale told by a Templar in Antiva City, 7th Storm. Demons, of course, have no form in our world. When they enter, either where the veil is particu particularly thin or through blood magic summoning, they must take possession of a body. When a prior demon takes control of a corpse of a mage, an Achaean horror is born. Although they appear to be little more than bones, these are fierce creatures possessing not only all the spellcasting abilities of a living mage, but also the capacity to heal and even command other animated corpses. Oh, what did you Done. drop? Some money. Well, that was the first time the game crashed on fucking me. Where did he come from? Come, you can do better than that. Looks like I can't take a step without uh, uh, stepping on some demons here. I'm still looking for a statue. Don't see one here. Possessed Templars. Fine, we kill Possessed Templars. Right. Right. Got one. Stay still. Oh, 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 oh. 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 
Oh, you could use a group heal. And you should rather freeze him and deactivate him. And Second thought, um, let's try that. Oh, on your guard. The fuck? As I was saying. Oh well. So apparently there's experience to be had. Drop right ahead. Okay, we got the trap. You actually move back. You freeze him. You stone fist him. You shield pummel him. Armed and dangerous, ready for action. Very nice. Crippling shot. No, you attack him with a crippling shot. Oh, that is has been used apparently. Anyway. What's happening now? Well, it's very weird, if I may say so. There's not really much you can do right now. Just attack then. Pinning shot. And you attack him. Nice. Freeze him again. Ah, that is still on cooldown. Try cleansing area now. Okay. There's a torn page. Five pages, four mages. Tom Deus vi Eternus. In Malefactorum. Dragos Teventim. Solaria. <laughs> that makes less sense than usual. <laughs> That's what I was thinking right now. <laughs> Solaria Ven Deus Mentor Mentores Pluratic Ven Contrivarian. Spake he the words and brought life. Speak you the words, ascension. Answers lie in text eligible. Notes on the page below. Here I begin my study, knowing in full well it will change the circle forever. Let history mark the date that this work began. 929 Dragon. So that when new calendars are put to paper, the date Fonts 00 is known with certainty. Ha <laughs> Hubris, my friend. Hubris. From the mouths of gods, finally to the people, through me. Whatever. Do we have a new quest or what? The notes of the apprentice Gant have revealed an ancient ritual in the Circle Tower. It begins in the Great Hall Common Room, although Gant was apparently unable to complete his own attempt. Um, okay. Done. Hey, what did you drop, my friend? 
As you wish. Templar helmet of steel. Is this better than the one you have? Yes. It's a little better. What do you look like? Hmm, okay. So, hold on for a second. Oh. That's a freaking abomination. Okay, a skeleton archer. Freeze. Victory shall be mine. You must be out of your mind, God. You must. Be out of your fucking mind! Rejuvenate on her. This may not be the best idea to focus on the abomination. Maybe we should take out Skeleton Archer. What now? The demons of the Fade are jealous of the living beings they sense from across the whale. They constantly push against the boundaries of the Fade, and when they finally cross over, they attempt to possess the first living creature they see. They are unable, however, to distinguish that which was once living from that which still is. In fact, the corpse provides an even more tempting target to a weaker demon as it has no will with which to resist the possession. The demon cannot rationalize why this is so. It only sees a target and grasps at the opportunity. A skeleton is exactly that, a corpse animated by a possessing demon. Upon finding itself trapped within a body that cannot sustain it, the demon is driven insane. It seeks to destroy any life that it encounters, attacking without thought to its own welfare. The exact name given to skeletons of this type vary according to the nature of the demon that possesses it. A fanged skeleton is a skeleton possessed by a hunger demon. These skeletons devour whatever life they encounter and often possess the ability to drain life energy and mana from their victims. A shambling skeleton is a slower moving skeleton possessed by a sloth demon, able to bring entropic powers against its opponents, slowing them and even putting them to sleep. More powerful demons have been known to command skeletons, but at that level they are known by other names, revenants and arcane horrors to name two. Okay. Ow. 
Okay, we got the arcane archer. Let's attack uh, the skeleton archer. Let's attack the other skeleton archer here. Ah, God, God, go! Are you nuts? <laughs> Fuck off! Don't ign ignore the fucking door, please. <laughs> Drink a potion. Heal him. Heal him. <laughs> April, for fuck's sake, April! Are you crazy, girl? You can't attack him from over here. I don't understand this. And now we attack. And you rejuvenate. April? Shield Pummel. And a shield bash. No, not a her. You must be crazy. Well, it's dead. Pretty much looks like it. Okay. And there is another statue here. Good God! Off I go. And the level up. A low rumble signals the luring of ancient protection. Something is free in the lowest levels of the tower. Okay, that worked nicely. On it! Another apprentice's cowl, and another torn page. Somewhere around here. Mm. What is new now? 
I think we had funst already. Speak the words in broad life, speak the words essential, blah 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 grits. Notes on the page below. 479 sovereigns plus favors. Immortality worth every coin. Words of creation. Proof of maker. No one must know until translations are complete. I will have first enchanter. The ear of kings. I will own kings. Glory everlasting. Enchanter modelled. Okay. Done. Arise, my pets, your mistress commands it. This is not nice. We attack the desire demon. Wow, this is not nice. What happened to your shield wall? I thought you couldn't be knocked down, apparently you still can be knocked down. Get him. Looks like we got them. The Templars are still charmed. It's rather not nice. So, um, you heal him. You should run while you can. Oh, that didn't work with the heal, eh? For fuck's sake, drink a potion! On it. What are you doing? What the fuck are you? Why do you always fiddle with your stuff? Okay, we got one. Now we take you down. Let's make it quick. Oops. Only one shall stand. Thanks. Apparently that's not the case. Apparently that is not the case. Um, 
Notes on a wondrous discovery, a strange script, uniform by steady hand. Yes, one would accept it, an agent of the maker to be steady. In fact, it follows all my expectations of the words the maker would bestow. It is perfect, and once translated I will have such fun lording this over the Chantry. Worth every bit. Enchanter Gaius. And another ice band, you should actually get your shit back. Do this, do that. Be quick. Very well. Oh for fuck's sakes, this has been a long video. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!